do some cleaning. the old energy and make space for the new. In Japan, there is an age-old tradition called Osoji, also known as the Big Clean. This annual practice involves thoroughly cleaning your house before the start of the new year. It's a symbolic way to purify your house and to begin the new year with a fresh slate. Our house is tiny. But with two people, one very shitty dog, and little storage to speak of, things tend to, well, spill over a bit. <laughs> Before the year gets away from us, here's our clean checklist we'll get started on. Perform a deep clean of the kitchen. Clean the windows. Do a room by room cleaning. Organize our Engawa hallway. And plant this ume tree. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning visitor, welcome back. My name is Mika, and this is Jesse. We're Canadians living on Shikoku, Japan's smallest main island, in an Akia house, one of the many abandoned houses in rural Japan. This is our dog pancake. Our kitchen is the heart of our home, constantly buzzing with activity. While we make sure that the frequently used surfaces are spotless, some areas, like the ceiling and lights, often get overlooked. Over time, they accumulate dust, debris, and yes, spiderwebs. Living on the fringe of the forest comes with its own challenges. There are a lot of wildlife excited about the prospect of unguarded food. So we've adopted extra measures to safeguard our food from some of our wild furry neighbors. This involves storing our baking supplies in large plastic bins to deter any uninvited guests. Our 1950s vintage kitchen cabinets are metal with gasket edges, which reveals to us that the previous owner also took serious precautions to safeguard their food.
The scenery from our windows is truly stunning. However, the beauty of our surroundings can be marred by the gradual accumulation of dirt and grime on the windows. By cleaning them, we restore clarity to our view and refreshing our perspective that lies just beyond the glass. Plus, a good window cleaning day gives much entertainment for the dog. An item awry or out of its usual place in our small house can quickly make it feel very cluttered. We don't have much storage space, so my desk becomes a catch-all for many miscellaneous items. Pancake has been shedding a lot lately, so vacuuming has become a daily chore. But for a more thorough job, dismantling our kotatsu is required to give it a proper, hair-free cleaning. Shoji doors, with their elegant design, enhance our space. However, one drawback is their tendency to attract dust like a magnet. These delicate doors demand careful handling and regular maintenance to keep them looking their best. <laughs> With little storage in our house, it's only logical that we've turned our Engawa hallway into an additional storage area. While it was transformed into a handy storage space, by the end of the year, it became an impassable lane of stuff. <laughs>
Okay. While cleaning out this old corner, we recovered many useful tools we'd forgotten about. Then there were some items that genuinely had us scratching our heads. We also encountered some familiar characters from the Japanese country household. Oh, God! What? <laughs> Sorry. The gecko surprised me. Slip into the corner. No shelving unit is complete without some of Jesse's handiwork. Japan is earthquake prone, so we have taken additional steps to ensure the shelving is sturdy. The worst things is my tools were so scattered. Although not related to cleaning, planting our first ume tree feels like a nice way to conclude our big clean and celebrate the arrival of spring. With spring fast approaching, we're eagerly anticipating warmer temperatures as the season unfolds. There's still much to be done in our Japanese house, and we are excited to share more of our cleaning and other projects in this countryside home with you. I want to give a huge thanks to everyone who has supported this project so far. Your support makes a significant difference and enables me to continue creating this countryside content for you. 
Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!